At what point did the whole Rap Olympics thing start, uh, happen? Was that before or after Unsight Hype? Uh, it was kind of all around the same time. Yeah. Uh, you know, Wendy Day from the Rap Coalition, um, that was her thing she put together. And, uh, you know, she had gotten a lot of teams from all the biggest gr rap groups out there. You know, she got everybody to put together a team. And, um, you know, she created her own team as well, which was myself, Eminem, Juice from Chicago, MC Juice, Quest the Mad Lad, and, and MC Wordsworth. And we were the team for the Rap Olympics. And it's crazy because uh, no other team showed up out there because we went to L.A. to compete. Uh, the only team that showed up was Project Blow, and mm. you know they the hyphies or what they L.A. based or, or should I say Cali based? But they they were the only ones that came out ready for full combat, you know. Okay, and this was really kind of a very famous battle. Uh, Eminem actually lost to to Juice at that point. That was on the individual battles because remember they both on the same team. Our team mm -hmm. had to compete against each other as well when it came to the individual battles. Okay, so did you actually see the Eminem Juice battle yourself? Yeah, I mean, that wasn't their first battle either, you know? Oh, um, okay. I believe uh, M lost to Juice maybe two or three times. Juice is a monster, though. Like, you know, um, I met Juice for the first time when I... um. Wendy had set me up to do the battles, the individual battles in Washington, D.C. with the rap sheet, um, rap sheet convention. So um, she she um, she grouped me and Juice together like, you know, they sponsored our trip. So we had to share, share hotels and all that. And I thought I was the greatest freestyler in the world until I met Juice because he, he threw me off guard. Like his 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 dress coordination wasn't on point. He didn't have a lineup. He didn't have. So I, I kind of slept on him. This motherfucker was amazing, yo. This was probably like word for word perfect, motherfucker. Like I go to his house sometimes and I used to go stay over, spend the night. And, you know, we real MC, so we love to rhyme. Juice won't let you rhyme. He won't let you get a word in. And this is all freestyle off the top of the dome. You know, word perfect. That's somebody I really learned to respect and, you know, learned a lot from just rocking with him. Good dude, too, you know? Okay, so from your point of view, Juice legitimately beat Eminem multiple times. Yeah, yeah, I, and Supernatural beat Juice. Mm, it's right. crazy, so it's like, and I can tell you, like, these are two dudes who I hang with, and I see, I know both of their, their talent levels and skills and understanding who is capable of doing what, and, um, like I said, Juice is word perfect, so is Super Nat, but Super Nat has a lot more characters within him. And you know, he can transform and turn into you. Shit, Super Nat came to that, my, my last uh, Art Basel event and he turned into me on the microphone and, and did my style and my rhymes and all that. Okay, and, and how is, I mean, from your point of view, who's seen probably more Eminem battles th than anyone, because Eminem is really known for his pen, but it's not like he continued to battle rap once he got on. I mean, how is Eminem's battle rap ability? Eminem is the truth, man. Like, for all those people who don't know, like, Eminem would come to my crib in Brownsville at 11 that night or something and stay all night rhyming. I, rem I remember being in ciphers with him where we, didn't, we never really spoke. We did everything in rhyme form to where even Paul Rosenberg would jump in the rhymes. You know, that's how inviting it was and the, the vibe where you felt it. But M is the truth, man. That, that man is everything that he is as far as within hip hop. His skill level is, like I said, I witnessed it for myself. It's not a game. You got to love it. You got to love it to that extreme for your skill level to be like that, you know? Well, Eminem actually shouted you out on uh, Kings Never Die, which was on the Southpaw soundtrack. He said, uh, it's that sound bombing, Thurston Howell, Common, Underground, Diamond D, Outsider, Stomach Growl, Thriving Hunger, Out Rhyming Everyone, God just gave me one shot, I swear that I won't let you down. Yeah, he made it happen. And uh, I guess at the time, you guys were saying, 
you know, whoever got on first will feature on the other person's project. <laughs> and he did, he did a song with you uh, on the Skilligan's Island album for uh, Watch These. Um, that actually Watch These was from DJ Spinner's album, Heavy Beats Volume 1. That's ah. what we recorded that song for, but I used it for my album as well, you know, with Spinner's permission. It was Spinner's song for his compilation. So I never got uh -huh. that Eminem feature that we were supposed to do. And he never hollered at me for, for you know, for the feature. But like I said, man, I, it, it been uh, joyful just watching the whole journey and see that man succeed like that. You know what I mean? I could respect that. that Cause that's hunger, man, and that's a lot of work. People don't know what yeah, it absolutely. takes, man, to put this work in.